we're going to talk about mindless grazing. Why? Because probably more than any time in the year, this is the time of the year where there is stuff everywhere. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Dr. Andrea Christian Parks and welcome to my channel. We are here today working through the month of December, the very last month of the year, and it is busy. I know all y'all are doing what I'm doing, running around, trying to get the presents, trying to get the, the gifts in the mail, trying to make sure everything is tightened up, the de decorations are done, you have a plan for the, the Christmas meal, you know, some of us are making plans to travel. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. We're not going to travel this year, but there, and, oh yeah, we got work and regular routine stuff at the house and kids getting ready for end of the year this and final exams and all the different stuff. It's busy. So what are we gonna talk about this week? Super quick, fast, in and out. We're gonna talk about mindless grazing. Why? Because probably more than any time in the year, this is the time of the year where there is stuff everywhere that when you walk by it, your brain says, oh, eat that. And you just grab it and all of a sudden you're eating and you're like, what did I, why did I eat that? I don't even know what, what was that? Like it's just mindless, completely checked out. What do I mean? Bowls of the red and green M&Ms sitting around, um, little towers of candy shaped like a Christmas tree, um, candy canes on the Christmas tree, um, little, um, leftover cake sitting around from somebody just, you know, had a cake for, for a holiday and then brought it to the office and left it in the break room or, um, somebody mailed you something I mean, this is the time of year people are shipping fruit cakes and, you know, gift baskets and all kinds of different little stuff that's sitting right in front of you, right in front of you. Um, when I was going to the office around this time, there would be stuff that would just show up on my desk from my coworkers, super sweet, but absolutely a temptation. Just bags of chocolate and cookie mixes and all kinds of stuff. So how do we deal with that? Well, there's the easy option, which is you just take that stuff and put it away, out of sight, out of mind. But really that doesn't help your brain get prepared for the next temptation. Because really what that does is it just says, don't think about it. So then when you do have to think about it, you have no practice. So I want you to do a little mini exercise where you just take a moment. Now, right now you might not have a notebook in front of you, but I'm gonna walk you through this so you can listen once through, you can go back and do it with me on the second go round if you want to. So you take your notebook and any particular temptation that you have, the bowl of M&Ms is a great one. In my house growing up, always, seasonally, every different color combination, once they started coming out with those, in the candy bowl, sitting in the kitchen or on the counter or in the living room or whatever. And didn't even matter if I really wasn't ever supposed to be in our living room. I might make a little detour by there just to grab a few M&Ms. So now, I walk by a bowl of M&Ms and I think I'm supposed to eat those. So what do you do? Take your notebook right at the top, what that thing is, that is just easy to be tempted by. And then write down all the reasons that your brain comes up with when you see that bowl. And it might be super basic, simple stuff like, ooh, that looks good. Or I would like that or that'll taste good. Something really just obvious, but it's a thought in your brain. It's one of those sneaky little subtle ones that you don't even almost hear it in your brain. Write all those down and then write down all the reasons why you want it. Then on the other side of the paper or on the back side of the sheet, you write down all the reasons you don't want to eat it. 
That might take a little bit longer. It's totally fine. You just sit there and you think, why do I not want to eat this? If I eat this, then this will happen. That's another way to do the exercise right at the top. If I eat the M&Ms, what will happen is, and then write a list. Okay. So when you do that, you train your brain to question. The next time you see that candy bowl or whatever the thing is that you wrote down, your, when your brain says, Ooh, that'll be good. Your brain also now has another narrative, which is, this is why I don't want that. You can write down things like it'll taste good for five minutes, but then I'll feel guilty later. Or I just don't feel good. When I eat a lot of sugar, my stomach really hurts. Or it makes my mouth feel fuzzy and my tongue feel coated because of the sugar. And then I gotta go brush my teeth and I don't really want to do that. Or something else like when I eat sugar, I get bloated and then I end up feeling sluggish and uncomfortable. And I don't, I don't want to feel like that. Write down, write down everything you can think of. That will help you to counteract the temptation because the, the quiet thoughts that just run in your brain when you see it need a counter thought. You need to have a minute where your brain goes, well, wait a minute. And then you can decide on purpose. Am I going to eat these or am I not going to eat these? And the more practice you give your brain at saying, this is why I don't want it or why I'm not going to eat it, the more times you're going to say no to the thing that you really don't want anyway. It's not just a, oh, I don't even know why I ate that. It's, I choose not to eat that. And these are my reasons why. It gives you so much more power in the moment when you're facing that temptation. Okay. I will see you again next week. We're going to move on to talking about unexpected treats. Okay. Right now, if you need more help, I want you to go over to my website, www.drandreachristianparks.com. Grab one or both of my mini courses for the year. It is okay if you hadn't gotten started already. Once you buy it, you own it forever. You can keep using it, rinse and repeat. Even if it just gets you started now, you can carry that work on into the beginning of next year. You can pick it up again next holiday season. It belongs to you. So we've got weight loss for the holidays. That course is up. That one is the bigger of the two courses, has all of the videos, a workbook with worksheets in it to help your brain do this kind of work that we're, we just did in this class, helps you get that done. The other one is mindful eating meditations, a little bit shorter, bite-sized little meditations to help you get that space, help you get that motivation, help you get that peace and that space while you're in the midst of all of the hurry and the hustle and the food temptations. So get either one, get both, whatever you need, it's there for you. All right, if you haven't already, subscribe, like, thumbs up, all the things, hit your notifications, and I will see you next week. Bye.